Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner Hard Mode. Today we're going to try and continue to claw back some of the money that we keep spending on recoveries and that I've, I've probably wasted a bit on tyres and things like that. So we're going to be doing some more of the, the login runs. Now you're allowed to do three of these, three of each of the challenges on Hard Mode. We've done it once, uh, so we are going to go and try and do it two more times. And that should get us an extra seven grand, around about that. And it cost us eight grand, of, eight grand of recovery. So from doing the three, uh, we'll probably get about eleven in total from the three runs on this job, provided we get gold each time. So that will have covered one of our recoveries. We've done two so far, so that's 16, <laughs> 16 grand. And uh, I've probably wasted about twelve, to, twelve to twenty grand. I'm constantly swapping tyres, but that's sort of how I play, <laughs> unfortunately for me and my finances. I'm not very, uh, very planned out with these sort of things. But we'll come down here, we'll, uh, we'll load up again. Have to remember to uh, manual. Should be fine for us. Activate the anchor. Remember to pop on the platform. And for this delivery, we need four. So we'll stick four of these in there. And so we've done it once. Hopefully, we can get two more of these in. I mean, we can do the. I think we can do the, the consumable run um, two more times. I'm not sure we've even done it once yet. We may have done. I record this over quite a period of time, so I do forget things. Another one. I'm not going to do the consumables today. I don't think we have a, the truck that I would use at the minute. I mean, we could use this, but we don't need to be hauling a five-bed trailer to take two consumables. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will. We'll see how things go. Actually, I'm not going to say, not going to say no at, at the moment. What am I doing? There we go. I don't want to say definitively not actually for this episode. We've had a couple of episodes where we've just been trying to get ourselves in a better position. Uh, things haven't gone as smooth as I was hoping they would. So we're not in, in our best best position logistically, financially, certainly not fuel-wise. Just pop that on there. We'll just stick the next one on and then we'll get them to pack it nicely for us. My packing is atrocious, but I've always been a bit lazy with it like this. <laughs> I've never worried about putting it all in nicely. So we pack the cargo, store the crane. Should we turn a all-wheel drive on? Might make some of this a little bit easier. get a little top up of fuel as well you know doing these extra runs also means we use an extra fuel so there's you know it's all about swings and roundabouts I guess are we going to be more at risk of spending money on fuel later on probably but was I already at risk of doing that yes so we'll top up we took it out <laughs> out of the uh, the Kodiak anyway okay right so eight minutes I think we I think we did like six and a half, seven minutes last time. And uh, that'll be 3,300, so let's get a move on. I'm 
massive thanks to everyone that's still uh, still watching the series, still supporting the series um, for the <laughs> the grander scheme of things. This is still very early on in the series. We've got 12, 14 maps, maybe more, because we've got another season pass to come. So there, there's there's a lot more to come with the series. Uh, I, I get that it's a slow one. So those that are sticking with me, um, I do appreciate it. I love this game. When I'm not streaming it here on or streaming it on Twitch or recording it here for YouTube. I'm playing it on my console for myself. I just spent so much time playing this game. I should be better. Also been enjoying expeditions. I think that's been covered already. Like that, that should be going out as uh, twice weekly live streams at the moment. But I'm enjoying the the difference that that brings. Again, not everyone's a cup of tea, but I, I enjoy them. But we'll probably have a, an episode today where we're just trying to pour some of that money back and then we'll get back out doing some of the real delivery jobs and the, the map tasks. I just, I just needed a few episodes where I just sort of resetting myself. I'd gotten myself all in a bit of a tears over where I was and what I was doing and what I had done so far, what I hadn't done yet. Since the first two dropped off. Next stop is the church again. Now I did consider doing a day uh, off screen or sort of off recording and just do these, do these jobs and then the food. But I thought if something happens and I get a truck stuck or I roll one or something like that, then uh, you'll miss it and I'll have to explain it. And I've already had an episode where, sorry I don't lose my voice, where um, we lost a, a chunk of the recording so I don't want, or we've had two actually where there's been some sort of technical issue so I don't really want to do that so although it's going to feel a little bit samey compared to the end of last episode these are just things I need to do to, to try and find my groove Let's see if we can get out of the church without getting stuck. I think we got stuck last time. The dodgy camera angles don't always help very much. That was better. If you can get the right angle coming in, you can get a much smoother exit. If you come in a little bit too deep, then you have to go out around through the trees and the benches. I get this one's probably not going to be the most exciting of episodes. It's, it's low risk, but that's what I need at the minute. I need a little bit of low risk. Low risk, easy money. Now, that's not to say that nothing's going to happen. This is me, after all. Uh, it only takes me to get confident for a second, <laughs> and then everything goes wrong.
There we are. 5 minutes 16. That's pretty good. Alright, so we can do that one more time. So we will. I'm sure there's a list somewhere, probably on Reddit, that will tell me what the records are for times on these sort of jobs. No, I'm not saying that we're gonna <laughs> do it in record times. You'd uh, you'd want a much quicker truck. Yeah, uh, White Western Star. She's not exactly speedy, but she's reliable. We'll take that. We'll, we'll take reliable. I'm sure there'll be some people that will be thinking, oh, but, you know, rerunning the contests is cheating. You just, you know, grind up money. You can only do them three times. It's not like on normal mode. You just sit and run them all day if you wanted. And uh, I think I said last time, that's not something I even really do. This is the first time I've run them multiple times on our Twitch series. Uh, I think I did them, I did most of the contests off stream. Most of them, I think. And yeah, I just did them once. And in, in all my previous playthroughs, I've only ever done them once. Maybe twice, but never back to back. But I've never, <laughs> I've never felt like I'm struggling as much as I feel like I'm struggling at the minute. If we had the fleet star on here, I'd run the the consumables with the fleet star with a bed on the back. But I don't think I don't think it's on this map. I think that is somewhere out on the dam. Oh, turn the engine off. Don't want to do that. Will that one reach out the back? No. That should be all right. <laughs> Hopefully. Lovely chill. All right.
take out the fuel tank this time. So we'll put some in the uh, in the Chevy. That wow, we nearly nearly emptied that. We should have saved some of our other fuel, but we've already delivered it. Okay, one more time for three thousand three hundred. Let's go. Way back when, I used to find this delivery quite daunting because it was uh, three different points. Can I get there? Oh, there. Would I do it? But now it's uh, much more relaxed. Less of a concern. Come on. Let's get the diff on. And at the end of the day, you've not got get gold tight. Even if you're not master of these things, if not, they'll get gold time, just complete it. Especially if you're just looking for that, you know, the 100% completion of doing all the jobs and all the tasks. Just go out and get it finished. I'm sure we'll come to some tasks in the future. I know we will. Where I'm really going to struggle. Really going to struggle. I know in Alaska on our normal mode stream series, I struggled with some uh, challenges on there. And I'm sure as we uh, get further into the game and more maps, there'll be more more challenging ones. Personally, I prefer the uh, the delivery ones, the time deliveries, rather than the go out and hit four points. I think, especially now that I'm playing um, expeditions, which a lot of that is hit these points, do a task. So I, I prefer the Snowrunner being a game that's more about the deliveries. I like to have the the challenges be delivery challenges. That helps to keep the variety to my gameplay for me. It's one of those things which is all about personal preference. First two. And again, by doing the uh, the same routes and doing the same the same thing, you do run that risk of ruining the, the track. We should be all right, but as you see, it's already a little bit tougher this time than it was last. But I have gone a little bit wider as well, trying not to run through my same track marks. Fun, yeah. See if we can catch a similar line as we had last time, but it may not happen. Let's just put it in auto. Nice. Nice. That's what we like. Smooth run-ins.
Last drop off. There we go, another 3,300. 509 on that one. Nice. So I think, I can tell you what, we will, we'll, we'll do the consumables. We'll do the consumables. So we may have a two-slot trailer floating about. I'll have to have a little look. Quickly have a little look. Do we have a two-slot trailer? We do, we've got one here. So we'll just park this one up and we'll go stick the two-slot on the back. We might as well do it while we're here, and then it's it's all done. And I'll feel better financially. What are we at? Money-wise. Uh, 52 grand. And I think ideally right now we should be sitting at probably about 70. <laughs> That's how wasteful I've been. I don't think there was a trailer down by the farm, is there? Let's have a little look. No, there isn't. Uh, drill and spare parts. Oh, that one I, I would prefer to have the fleet star for. We've got bricks on that trailer, haven't we? Miss machinery, local entertainment. Is that all that's left here? Let's just check. Out with the old harbour delivery. That's nothing here. This is Winners doors so that's going through the other way and then fuel order that's uh, down in the quarry I have a little bit of an idea on how I want to do that because getting out of the quarry can sometimes be a pain in the backside, especially if you're trying to pull a long trailer or double trailers, so... Got a bit of an idea of what I want to do with that. to top up the fuel as well. I might take the Kodiak to the farm. Do the same way. Take the Kodiak to the farm. I was wondering what tires we have. We have the uh, the Jats. This is so fine. I think it's the the OD threes out of the Jats, or the OD twos possibly. Just wondering whether I needed to make a change. That should be fine. Now we could try and do the the missing machinery with the the western and either this trailer or the other trailer, but I prefer to do it with a, a flatbed or a sideboard actually on the truck with the crane. Just because some of those areas are such a pain in the backside to get to.
Again, that could be a, a nice little job for the fleet star. My beloved fleet. Not to knock it over. Should be able to get these in all right. I think the consumables are some of the lightest things you can uh, can deliver, so they're normally pretty easy. Got enough fuel to do the one run. So there we go. And this is 3,700 on this one. Like I say, I think we've already done it the once. Possibly. And again, I'm not sure if doing it with this trailer is any easier than if we were to do it with uh, sideboard semi but I think this has got to be a little bit lighter at least and maybe a little bit more nimbler speed now.
uh, shortcut across the river. Trying to make sure we stay in the shallows. up a little bit. Lovely. There we are, 4 minutes 14, that's not too bad. And we're up to 56,400, which is nice. So is the job still... Oh, we haven't done the meteorolog meteorology data either yet. Let's just check and see if we had finished it or not. There. So I'm still saying that it's there. Hmm. I'm sure you can't do it anymore. We've done it. We did it three times, the pine wood. back to the farm and then I'll assess my fuel as to whether or not there's enough for another run. There may not be. I might have to get the Kildiak over there for a fill. Or I might just have a cheeky top up as we go past the gas station depending on how much it is. To save moving a truck about. I think on hard mode, gas station prices are variable. I'm pretty sure each gas station has a different price and different maps have different prices as well, so one map might be a lot more expensive than another. I'm sure that's a thing. That's certainly something that you can set if you go uh, New Game Plus. You can choose that as a set. That's what makes me think it's probably a hard mode thing.
Yeah, you know, I want a little bit to do the run soon. Grab a cheeky top up or move the truck. I think grab a cheeky top up. How much is it going to cost us? Uh, Three dollars a litre. So only 500 to fill. Well, might as well just do that, I think. I'm happy to do that. Three dollars is pretty darn cheap. So that five hundred dollars is going to help us earn three thousand seven hundred. So you'd say this this job, this next run, is worth three thousand two hundred. No, I think that's all right. I just want to check that I haven't done it twice before, and that was a third. I'm sure if we go in... Yeah, we can do it again. That's the trouble, when you've done this map so many times, and you've done so many runs, sometimes it does all sort of blend into one a little bit. You think that'll count as in? It did. Thank you very much. Very much to greatly appreciated. Right, let's turn around. This is, I believe this is our third and final run of this. I'm sure we've done this once before. But we've done the Pinewood delivery three times and it's still showing up on the map. I thought it would disappear when you couldn't do it anymore.
Now, did we take the spare vehicle parts through to the dam, or did I leave them on the side of the road here? Because there is a job in the dam that requires... Oh, although there'll be a job later on that requires spare vehicle parts here as part of the super order, but that's vehicle parts and fuel. Whereas there's the well, 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 which I'm not 100% if I'm triggered or not, but well, well, well requires um, vehicle parts, and that's, that's all they require, just one, one crate. So if they are here, we'll take them through with us, because that could be an easy job to, to knock off. I thought we might have been better off in a auto or a high there for a bit more speed, but it didn't like it. I feel like we're going extra slow. There we are, 5.14 on that one, and that's put us just under 60 grand. Trail. We've got another one here. Has that got anything in it? That's got nothing in it. So on our... Uh, uh, no, that's empty as well. So we must have taken those parts through. There's nothing on there either. Okay, so I th think... I'm just going to leave this trailer here. We don't need it. I'll put it out of the way. Just in case, but we, we, we shouldn't need it. To be fair, rather than... Oh, you can't... Can we delete trailers? We can delete trailers. Rather than leave them laying around, look, you can delete them. But we'll just detach it. Find that stump. And uh, we'll get ourselves ready to... head back through to the dam now. Not sure what the time is, three o'clock. Got a few hours, a few hours to get ourselves organised. Um, take what vehicles we want through.
that rock there is a little bit big. Especially once you've already sunk. Should be able to get this up and over with that trailer on. Even if we give it a cheeky winch. Stick it in high range, save a little bit of fuel. And it's often the case I'm torn between what to do with my Kodiak because I do need to come back and do that other job which is going to require a little extra fuel. Whether that's a, a sneaky top-up job on the way back or if I come through with the uh, Leak Star. Should we take with us this? Should we take? I always use a sideboard, and I think we would. Did I discuss it last time? I think I did. About how some people say like they'd rather lose their load over losing their truck. So we'll see how it goes for us. Um, what else was there? Don't we have? The, did I take it through already? Ah, oh, it's already up here. We do have the Fleet Star here. Okay. Well. Ooh. That's got the vehicle part on it. Okay. We might jump through and tr quickly try and do the, the well, 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 well delivery. If there's enough time. And then come back and tackle the uh, lost machinery next time. Or lost cargo, whatever the uh, the that that contract is called, that task. We got to pick up the four, the four bits. I think I was leaving the P16 behind for when we do logging. I think I don't think I'll need P16 for other tasks at the moment. I'm gonna try and use the twin steer for a few of the jobs as well, especially when we get back into Island Lakes. Ne again, another truck I, that I never really use. I've always gone either repaired it or yeah, you always have to repair it first. Gone, repaired it, and then. I just stuck it in the garage, sometimes just sold it straight away because it's worth quite a bit of money, but we'll, uh, we'll try and get some uses for that as well. There's some big cargoes to move around, so that it would make sense. Oh, 
anyway, let's see what we've got time to do. We'll take this up to the garage. Then we'll be able to, to plan our next our next outings. Since we're never going back down that left track again. <laughs> we want to go up to the garage. So we'll just block the roadways and we'll uh, park ourselves up here. And we shall jump to the fleet. That's still connected. Yep. What tires have we got on the fleet? Oh, that's right. It's got some jets on it as well. That's good. Pretty sure the fleet star is upgraded to the best we can at the moment. Try to just look at the times if we've got time to do the things I want to do now. I think we can. I think we can get to uh, to the old boy's house. So I'm not sure if it's one we've already like triggered when we went out looking. And I try not to like, do the preemptive deliveries, but to drive up there to just come back and do would be a little bit silly. Just gonna drop this trailer off because that needs to go somewhere else. You. Why is it not wanting to do what I want it to do? There we go. Quick look. We don't, but where we want to go is over there. I'm not sure if we can get it. Hmm. Hour and a half. Let's try it. It would take an extra minute. It takes an extra minute. Although I've tried to keep these as best as I can to a time. <laughs> to a time. Uh, the amount of times I load back in, I have to sit and wait for the clock to tick through anyway, because it doesn't seem to save my time. And again, I think that might be because I have a couple of different saves on the go, and uh, the, the, I don't know whether the, the game is just mixing my times up. But we often come in, and I sit here and have to wait through midnight to. Do at 8 o'clock. Although that is a bit strange, because if I suppose by, by Twitch stream series this, that was last played, we tend to always sort of skip through the night on that anyway. So why that would leave me at about midnight, I don't know. Just the game doing game things. And uh, it was pointed out uh, by Wesley, you know, am I saving it and coming out properly? Yeah, come out properly, come out normal. Just seems to to be the way it is. And it is only here. If on my on my console saves, it doesn't do it. I, I load back in where I left. It's only on my PC saves. There is an achievement for smashing. I think five hundred pumpkins. You got to smash. This time round, 
but the uh, the Epic Store version, which is what I'm running, uh, the Epic Store version doesn't seem to have uh, achievements active, so I don't worry about the achievements. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, in-game achievements are still there. That still show you that. What are we doing? Every now and then, something weird, really. Like, that rock that was beside us was causing us to roll over. I don't even think our wheels were touching it. The bit I want. I have. How did I miss it? Sometimes I do the strangest of things. What was the time? It's nearly eight. Right, you. We'll just back up. How did I miss the turn? Perhaps I should use the map markers. I think, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. That's going to be our our episode today. So we've earned a bit of money. We finished off those uh, challenges. Got ourselves a few pennies there. And, you know, trying to get back on track. Like I say, a lot of trying to get back on track, but I just felt so confused and so lost with how I was doing things. It wasn't, it wasn't tidy in my mind. Um, so I think this is going to help me get organized again. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I, I know it's not a, an overly exciting one and, and, and maybe a little bit, you know, a bit obvious, a bit easy, but we need to that sometimes. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.